November Charlie Alpha 38 is vectored direct to the localizer for an ILS approach runway 15. The FAP interception is at 4000 feet QNH 1013. IMC reported on the ATIS with low visibility 2000 meters and low ceiling 500 feet. Wind reported on the ground 150 degrees 5 knots. Non-compliant air 38 confirm speed. Speed is uh, 200 knots, non-compliant air 38. Roger. Okay, so regarding the ATIS, we have a cloud base overcast 500 feet. Uh, we will be uh, AMC. Crew is quiet and well organized, okay, so but no one notices the strong tailwind. Uh, we need to be established at 1,000 feet above ground. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Non-compliant air 38. Maintain at least 180 knots until six miles final and report established. Okay. Maintaining 180 knots until six nautical mile final. Non-compliant air 38. The conditions for stabilization must be completed with 130 knots at three miles, and the safe standard speed reduction is 10 knots per nautical miles for a 3 degree glide slope. I remind you we should intercept at uh, 9.5, okay? Okay, I don't have any question. Then flaps 5, checked, speed check. Flaps 5, speed 180. Check. Okay, we have a glide slope. Glide alive, yeah. Okay, that's the right one. Glide slope armed. Checked. <coughs> okay, closing the glide. Gear down. Gear down. Crew begins to notice that they are too quick and they have still several actions to complete before reaching stabilization. This common situation leaves the aircraft with a 35 knots tailwind at 4000 feet QNH before the FAP and still more than 20 knots at 3000 feet, while on ground 5 knots headwind is reported. Pretty high weight of descent. Yeah. Uh, look at ground speed. 220. Okay. Oh, uh, we have a lot of tailwind. That is strange. Yeah, that wasn't uh, in the 80s. Was mentioned. Okay. It looks a bit fast now. Uh, yes, but I think it's normal. I ask him to maintain 180 knots, so it's normal. Okay. I hope they will make it. The air traffic controller notices the high speed, but is not surprised as they requested the crew to maintain at least 180 knots and therefore pilots accepted it. Okay, 5000 feet for the go round. Okay, copy it. Uh, Non-compliant non air 38, uh, establish ALS 15. Non-compliant air 38, contact tower 118 decimal 7, good day. 118 decimal 7 tower, good day. Non-compliant air 38 uh, on uh, final 15. Then complaint air 38, tower hello, clear to land runway 15, wind 150 degrees 5 knots. Clear to land 15, non complaint air 38, 6 miles final. Okay, start reduction right now. We're flaps, close to 6 flaps 30? Yeah. yeah, okay, we are closing 6 uh, uh, flaps 20? Yes, 20 please, 20. Okay, speed bug 150. The aircraft is at 6 miles from threshold. Landing configuration not yet completed. Ground speed is over 200 knots. Okay, we have still some tailwind. Flap 30. Negative, we are too fast. Uh, flaps 25. Yeah, okay. 25. The controller notices the aircraft still has a high speed. Non compliant air 38, confirm wind speed. 20 knot tailwind, not yet stabilized. The high speed clearance delivered by ATC and accepted by crew, at least 180 knots until 6 miles. Combined with the non-detected strong tailwind on final, lead the crew to try to reach the stabilization criteria at 1,000 feet with difficulties. The crew will have to take a decision concerning the pursuit of the approach. 